Hey everyone, it's me, Connie. Thanks for being patient with me. It's been a while since I've been here. What, uh, about a month or two since I posted? I don't know, but I made this card today and I wanted to share it with you. There's the inside and outside. It's just the, it's the size of an A2 card, which is what, five and a half by four and a fourth. Is that right? Yep, four and a fourth. So, um, I did this today. I had called Leslie Claire Jones from Creative Pizzazz, and we were just talking on the phone, and and um, I just kind of started putting this together. So I got this today. Now, my first project since I've been back into my craft room. So there's that. Um. Also, I have to show y'all this. I got this all the way from New Zealand from uh, Jackie Tetlow. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, thank you so much. Let me see. This is this is uh, her name right there. So thank you, Jackie. I am so excited about this. She made this cute little pocket folder to put them in. But look at these die cuts. Aren't they gorgeous? I love them. And look at that. Look at that. She used sorry. She used some beautiful sprays. And I don't know if you can see the the way it glistens and stuff like that in the light. It's just gorgeous. And she made it from um, like a craft paper uh, stock is what I'm thinking. And isn't that beautiful? You can. It looks like some greens in there. That is just so pretty. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. I love it. I love it. And then she put some shininess on this. Isn't that pretty? I love it. And I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. I'm going to be using these a lot. Um, so, thank you, Jackie, so much. I'm sorry it's been taking me so long to get in here. And say thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it so much. Um, also, I went to um, Marta's... Uh, YouTube, it's, I don't know how to say her name, Marie, Maramie's, Maramie's Small Art, and I ordered some of, um, she does watercolors, and so I ordered some of this from her Etsy shop. Aren't these just beautiful? I love butterflies. Every time I see a butterfly, I think of, let's see, my, oh look, there's some beautiful little sentiments and stuff that I can cut out but every time I see butterflies I think of my mom because uh, I'll be outside talking about her and I'm and a butterfly passes by and I'm like oh hey mama you know <laughs> so I know that you know it just makes me feel good I know it sounds kind of silly but it, it's what makes me feel good but aren't those beautiful her uh, artwork that she does uh, with watercolors are just gorgeous and then I know she splatters these with uh, the white. It's so pretty. So I am excited about that. Um, I am getting ready to put together um, my album that I might. I don't know if you want to call it an album. But it's something to put my trip that I took last year to Virginia and to Washington, D.C., well, a friend of mine, Ann, gave me these beautiful things because she knew I went to D.C. and she knows that I'm going to be making a book for my photos and and uh, memorabilia kind of stuff is going to go in there. And she had this. It's um, postcards from Washington, D.C. The uh, and the Smithsonian Institute. And uh, I'm excited about these. Because I went to a lot of these places that's on here, in here. And so I will be adding this to my um, my book. So thanks, Anne. I appreciate that. And here's some things that I kind of made. I have a postcard stamp. So I, I'm going to be doing something with that. Um, I think I've showed pictures of this. Just some uh, artwork that I did. Using my... Um, uh, I love these Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens. Love, love, love. And then I cut this out so that 
I can put it in a page or something, do something with it. I don't know. I was just playing around. And then I'm, um, these were free printables online. Uh, so I printed these out to fit inside my book so I can uh, highlight when I went and then write a little bit about that trip on, with these. I just made myself my uh, own tags and this kind of is from, uh, idea was from um, Genevieve Designs. Jennifer, she was showing us how to, how she makes her little flowers and stuff like that. So I tried it out. I got that idea from her. And here's some little tags. And y'all have seen these. I put these, I know, pictures on my Facebook page. And then I made some tags. And these tags at the top, let me get the um, punch that I use. Let's see. This is um, a two inch that you're supposed to put in here. And you line it up and you punch it. And it comes out like that on the top. Like that. And then I just, uh, I had a bunch of leftover cardstock so I just made some tags for myself and you know um, ideas that I got from Jennifer so thank you Jennifer I just made me some tags um, I don't know yet what I'm going to do with them but somehow they will make it in there I'm hoping I don't know <laughs> I don't know yet we shall see so this is some of the things that's going to be going in my book and I will be doing that um, on a video, so I can't wait. Um, I wanted to show you my little books that I made, but I'm kind of lost in my thoughts as to who I got this idea from, the cover. And I will have to um, get back with y'all on that, and I will probably put it on my Facebook page, or if I can, I will link it down below. But this is um, made from that uh, craft cardstock like this. And then just made into... And the paper is from... Um, uh, I have four little signatures here. The paper is the multimedia from Walmart. And um, I will be covering this with something I don't know yet. But this side, you know, stuck really, really well. But this side, not so much. So, I use double-sided tape, but for some reason, it's kind of coming undone right here. So, I'm going to throw some glue in there, and it'll be just fine. But I don't know if I'm going to use this or not. And then, um, I, I still hadn't made up my mind on the, on the book itself. So, I have to kind of... This one, I used uh, muslin cloth, tea-stained muslin cloth on the inside. And I love how it's real pliable like that. I just think it's really, really cool. I stuck a real cool little button right here. And then um, the only thing is, is I made, um, this has got four signatures, if you can see. It's got four signatures. And I used a little piece of cardstock to sew it to so that I can then stick it inside my book. Well, I used um, Fabri-Tac by Beacon. I got this at Walmart. And it's it took a lot of glue to finally get it to stick. And um, it doesn't open real well. You know, it's just really, I mean, I guess I need to just work with with it and stuff like that but I'm, I don't know it just uh, I like that the way it is though you know it's just real cool and there's I'm not gonna be able to put anything here because I'm just not too sure about gluing anything but I may give these to my granddaughter she is very very talented she can draw like nobody's business so I may give it to her and she can journal and draw what she's feeling at the same time and write in her little book. I don't know. I haven't decided what to do with these yet. So, I showed you this one, how I have two of them. Well, I also have these three signatures that I'm going to do something with. I hadn't decided yet what. But the page, the multimedia books uh, that I got and I'm using is uh, 
let's see, 11 by 14 or something like that. So when I cut out this, these, I had these left over, so I thought, well, I'm going to center that in there, and I'm going to use those pages. And so it gave me more pages and everything, so that's going to go in there. And I hadn't decided yet much more than this on this book. So when I get, I don't know, I may use this size for my... Um, my trip, um, I haven't decided, but that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. Because see these, um, I would open it up and put that like that. And then I can put my, write about my trip. Whoops, wrong way. Then I could write about my trip and highlight when I went. I think that's a really cool idea. So I don't know, we'll see. So anyway... Um, I will be seeing y'all soon with some more videos, I'm hoping. Um, kind of got a lot going on, but I'm trying to focus and make it happen. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you liked my little card. Um, it was fun. It was, it, it was just a starting point to get me back into the groove, and I hope I can, you know, find my way back into that little crafty space that I love to go to. So y'all have fun crafting. If Please make a card because I'm going to be making some more cards too. Um, I, my first love was cards and I'm going to start making a lot more cards for sure. So um, the books will be coming but I know cards will be coming too. And I love the vintage look so um start getting you some card bases made up and let's do some cards together it's a lot of fun and it's a quick um craft where you can make it quick and you see the end results within an hour so depending on the card that you make so y'all get ready come make some cards with me come visit me at uh craft with connie on my facebook page it's linked down below i hope and um let's get to crafting together thanks for being patient and You'll be seeing more to come. Bye, everybody. Be blessed. <laughs>